Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and issued Law 3 of 2018, amending some provisions of Penal Code issued by Law Decree 15 of 1976 after its approval by the Shura Council and the Council of Representatives. The amendment stipulated text replacement of these articles 107 clauses 5 and 6, first paragraph. 186, first paragraph, 188, 189, 190, 191, 194, first paragraph, 195, 197, 198, 199, 201, 292, 301, and 302, first paragraph, 303, first paragraph of the Penal Code, issued by Law Decree 15 of 1976. The Prime Minister and each of the Ministers, according to the domain, have been asked to implement this law which becomes effective as from the day following the date of its publication in the official Gazette. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Qadabiya Palace royal family members and a number of senior officials, which he discussed with them topics related to national affairs. His Royal Highness praised the patriotic stances of the Bahraini people, their strong unity and their keenness in serving their countries. He hailed the contributions in all fields that added to the progress and prosperity of the country. He also praised the strong cohesion among the Bahraini society that was built by the ancestors of the kingdom and stressed the need to maintain this cohesion and convey it to the coming generations. His Royal Highness stressed the importance of cultural events and activities promoted currently in the kingdom in order to enhance tourism and support commercial activities. He affirmed the importance of exhibition in showcasing national products in all fields, including the art, cultural, literature and economic fields. His Royal Highness highlighted that this strategy is one of the government's strategies to diversify sources of income. He stressed that these exhibitions will achieve more by creating an environment that provides opportunities for success that leads to attracting the participation of a number of foreign exhibitions and enhances the economic status of Bahrain. Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Barak Al Khalifa received today at Qadabiya Palace the Speaker of the House of Representatives of Egypt, Ali Abdul Al, and his accompanying delegation in the presence of the Deputy Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ali Al Aradi. Deputy Prime Minister prays the bilateral brotherly relations under the wise directives of both countries' leaderships. He affirmed that these visits come under the framework of enhancing cooperation and coordination between the two countries in various fields and towards various issues that benefit both cultures and serve issues. He praised the role of Egypt in defending the security and stability of the region. Abdul Al expressed pleasure in visiting the kingdom and expressed appreciation for the warm reception, which affirms the deep-rooted relation between the two countries and their keenness to further enhance cooperation and exchange expertise on the parliamentary level. He affirmed Egypt's firm stance towards Bahrain and all measures taken to maintain its security and stability.
Under the patronage of the personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of the Borean Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the third week of the falconry competition on the cups of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Nasser Al Hamad Al Khalifa was held after being postponed due to waves of dust and wind force. The Rifa team won first place in the Falcons category and the Bahrain Falcons team won first place in the hybrid category and both teams qualified to compete in the cup of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The fourth week of the competition will be held on Thursday, Friday and Saturday. The Minister of Oil Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa inaugurated today the second edition Middle East Refining Technology Conference, MERTC, which will be held for two consecutive days, organised by the World Refining Association in collaboration with the National Oil and Gas Authority and with support from the Gulf Downstream Association, the GDA, and a number of oil companies. The conference witnessed the participation of business executives of a large number of national, regional and global oil countries and their deputies, as well as petroleum consultancy companies, technology companies, experts, specialists and managers of companies operating in the field of oil refineries of more than 400 participants from all around the world. The Minister of Oil expressed his great appreciation in having the World Refining Association selecting the Kingdom of Bahrain to introduce the series of MERTC for the second time, because of the good reputation enjoyed by the Kingdom of Bahrain on the world level. He said that the purpose of the conference this year was to meet the desires of the participants from different countries of the world. The number of participants were more than 450, where 80% of the participants were engineers and professionals who met to address the issues and to review the technical solutions in order to exchange practical experiences and best practices to improve the performance of the petroleum industries and discuss the current reality of the refining industry. The talk has always been about the future uh, of the markets, whether the oil price, refined products, the new technologies, the new trends, the challenges and the risks. We've talked about uh, the challenges uh, presented by electric cars on the gasoline markets, what's happening to the fuel oil market with the new uh, International Maritime Organization ruling coming up in 2020. All of that has an impact. We're very lucky in Babco to, to have now begun uh, the new expansion. This will take our new product slate to international standards by the time uh, the refinery is ready. Uh, which will hopefully generate a lot of profits. We discussed all the big challenges and opportunities that are facing the regions, refineries and petrochemical producers um, and that directly fed into the content for this conference. Um, we've got plenary sessions, keynote panel discussions and lots of technical sessions happening this afternoon. We also invited students from the University of Bahrain and KFUPM to attend, students that are chemical engineers, um, we also have a Rising Stars talent initiative. So later on this morning, we've got young engineers from Babco and Aramco presenting on what they would do if they were the CEO for a day. This conference is really looking at the state of the downstream industry and the refining industry, not just in Bahrain, not just in the GCC, but really taking a wider look. When you look at the big companies here that are situated in the GCC and even here in Bahrain, they're all looking outside the region as well. The coordination meetings on legislation of the Government Action Plan, GAP, 2019 to 2022, was held today. The meeting is in line with the directors of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, during the Government Forum 2017 that was held here under his patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and the initiative of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to hold workshops in order to determine mechanisms and identify the priorities of GAP 2019 to 2022. The meeting comes as a prelude to the workshop of the legislative themes and government performance to be held on Sunday, January the 28th, chaired by Deputy Premier and Chairman of the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs, Jawad Salam al -Arayad. The workshop will be the second in a series of workshops devoted to developing government action plan mechanisms and priorities. The Minister for Parliament and Shura Council Affairs, Legislative Things Workshop Coordinator Ghanem al Bahrainin stated that one of the main priorities in the Kingdom of Bahrain is to promote justice, equality, 
the prevalence pre of security and the support of the democratic process through legislation in the national interest. The Minister confirmed that officials had reviewed recommendations submitted by the government ministries and departments regarding measures to improve proposed legislation and regulations. Al Boenian stressed that the coordination meeting is aiming to fund achievements that impact citizens in all aspects of their life and at all levels. Great efforts are still ongoing in preparation for the second series of workshops devoted to developing the Government Action Plan mechanisms and priorities to match Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030, laying the foundations for economic prosperity and stability. The first time I believe in the region that a government can work as a single entity with a singular objective. This ha will optimize uh, the efficiency of delivering those objectives and the cost. A lot of initiatives under it related to changing some of the laws, uh, developing new laws or regulations in order to enhance the economy of the country and at the end the, for the benefit of the citizen. The government and especially specifically the infrastructure part of it, we cannot move without the rules and regulation and the legislation in the place. The legislative coordination meeting held today came after a close review, classification and prioritization of initiatives for the next stage in the legislative access provided by governmental entities within the framework of comprehensive policies supporting economic growth. We get all the experts uh, related to the legislative aspects and all the government officials to meet and look at uh, uh, the issues at hand and come up with the appropriate solutions. Uh, speeding up uh, the judicial process, uh, speeding up litigation, uh, the various uh, legislation re uh, relating to economic reform and the economic uh, process of the Kingdom of Bahrain. Fruitful discussions between governmental entities and legal experts were very beneficial to evaluate legal initiatives, risks and required implementation procedures. For the Supreme Council of Health it has been uh, a great uh, opportunity, opportunity to push forward uh, several key uh, legislation and projects including the national health insurance. We as a, for example come from the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications have introduced an initiative of introducing a new Bahrain maritime law. Uh, this law the purpose of it is to uh, attract uh, investors to come and invest in Bahrain. The outcome of the discussions will be submitted to the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs, which in turn will consider, approve and submit it to the workshop on the legislative government performance themes to be held next week. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdel Ghaffar. A very good evening. You're watching the Business News on Bahrain International with me, Heba Abdel Ghaffar. Bahrain All Share Index has closed at 1,333.79 points, marking a decrease of 1.1 points below the previous closing. The decrease was in the commercial banks, services and the industrial sectors, and investors mainly traded in the investment sector, representing 47% of the total value of traded shares. Results indicated that 64 equity transactions took place, with a volume of 5,079,791 shares, worth 936 thousand two hundred and ninety one Bahraini dinars.